The important thing for puppies is things to chew on. This guy is, I think, um, 15 weeks old. Is he 15? He was supposed to come a little bit sooner, but had to be a little bit delayed. And he has learned to walk on the prong collar. He has learned to be quiet in his crate, which is, was a big thing. His owners were struggling with him being in the crate. Um, and he is doing fantastic. And now he's having a ball. And uh, our, our other big thing for him is exposing him because um, these little guys often get so sheltered, uh, people like to pick them up. I mean, it's so easy to pick these little guys up, right? Um, so we are, you know, when he came in, of course, the first day I was like, nobody gets to pick this dog up. Of course, here I am carrying him around. Um, but uh, these little guys need to be exposed just like any other dog. They need to, they need to be around other dogs safely, obviously. They need to get out in the world. They need to experience things just like any other dog so that they don't become reactive and they can grow their confidence. They are dogs just like any anything else, any other dog. Um, we just have to be careful they don't get stepped on. Right, bud? By humans especially. Yeah. Yep. What do you think, big guy? We're also working on his... Um, grooming. Comfort level with grooming, yep. brushing. Ah all those things because his breed has to have grooming. They have to be taken care yeah. of. Um, and you don't want your dog who needs that to hate the brush or hate nail clippers or hate getting a bath. So yeah. they're just, these guys kind of, they look a little disheveled even after hmm. Thank grooming you. every day. Thank you. You want that bone? <laughs> Um, okay. I... Do you lost the questions? Yeah, I'm gonna back, relax. How do you get a puppy to stop nipping? Oh. It was kind of cute at first, but dang, it hurts. I've tried yipping to mimic the sound of another dog being hurt, as I read that online, but it doesn't seem to be working. Any other tips? Uh, absolutely. So, nipping, if it's not, puppy, just normal puppy mouthing if they're actually biting. And so you do have to kind of discern that. So one, making sure they have things to chew on because if it's just normal puppy mouthing, like they, it's because their teeth hurt. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you. So they, they've got to have stuff to chew on. That, that's an absolute must. And there are different levels of things to chew on. So this is a soft, a soft nylabone and um, our older, older dogs will completely destroy these, but the puppies, they can't. And this actually feels pretty good on their gums. The harder ones are too hard. So make sure you're getting the right firmness of things for them to chew on. Um, some things, if they're too hard, they can actually break their teeth. So just be aware of that. Um, but also, so if they're actually like biting you inappropriately and, and typically that's happening when the dog is, gets frustrated or is tired, so that's another thing, make sure your dog's, your puppy is getting enough sleep. And that means like four snap times in the crate. Um, then, it, so if you've got all those things covered, absolutely you can correct the biting. There's, there's nothing wrong with correcting inappropriate behavior. It doesn't really matter what age. So if this guy was, was to come up and bite me right now, um, I would probably, take my hand and I pop him for it in the snout um, at an appropriate level of firmness because I need to say that is not okay you are not to put your teeth on me like that because when he gets bigger obviously he can do some damage and obviously other puppies you know they're small they're gonna get much bigger and it's gonna do a lot more damage so this guy probably will never ever actually do damage but you know um, if I had a bonker I would use the bonker. That's my favorite tool to correct things like inappropriate nipping, biting on puppies. But if I don't have something, I'm gonna use my hand to say, nope, don't do that. Um, some people will grab their snout. That's not my, my favorite thing to do. In fact, I've never actually done that. Other people will put their finger in, in, in their mouth and like push down on their, um, underneath their tongue. Again, you're then putting your hands in their mouth. That's not something I'm going to do. I'm literally just going to 
bop them on the nose and say no. Uh, they, they need to know it's inappropriate. And it's the same kind of mechanism as the bonker. You're not hitting them hard, you're just surprising them. Right. It's the, the surprise factor. Get it. But I mean, this guy, he doesn't, aside from like the wanting to nibble in a puppy way, he doesn't bite or right. show any of those tendencies. Right. We have had a few that came in for resource guarding at very young ages. So that got taken care of very quickly and their entire demeanor kind of turned around pretty mm -hmm. quick. Yeah, dogs need to learn no, and they can learn it at an early, early age. Isn't that right, buddy? 